Hi, this is Sally from Target Physio to discuss a 2019 systematic review that looked at physiotherapy intervention for, the shoulder, for shoulder pain in patients treated for breast cancer. Studies show that 89% of women survive at least five years following diagnosis of breast cancer. About 50% of these women have pain that persists for months or even years. So this pain can be divided into musculoskeletal pain, drug-induced neuropathic pain, radiation-related pain, and then chronic persistent pain. So 50% of sufferers actually experience pain and, and ongoing dysfunction. So local musculoskeletal pain can be, divide, uh, can be due to surgery and radiation therapy that can result in pain at the site or, on, or from ongoing structural changes. Neuropathic pain can be related to damage to the nervous system, uh, the cancer itself, drug induced from aromatase inhibitor drugs or from radiotherapy. So drug-induced neuropathic pain is not uncommon and can persist even after the medication is stopped. So this can result in arthralgia, osteoporosis and an increased risk of fractures. Radiation-induced pain is common in 60% of patients and this can be from skin reactions, muscle atrophy and from the formation of fibrosis. So up to 60% of women can also on, have ongoing chronic pain with increased risk of depression, fear avoidance and anxiety. Current research has found a multifactorial approach is beneficial. So this includes specific and general exercise and neurodynamic exercise. Ongoing exercise and general conditioning has been found to have the most benefit for all aspects of shoulder pain. Specifically directed and supervised exercise was found to be the most beneficial in the early stages for post-surgery and for drug-induced and radio-induced pain. So in summary, Exercise is one of the best methods of decreasing the impact of shoulder pain on women with breast cancer.